Hi friends, it's me, Simply Sherry. I give you weekly tips and tools for organizing, prepping, and travel. So subscribe if you wanna get your life organized. In today's video, I'm going to show you my freezer organization. It's updated because it's been four years since I've shown my last fridge. That was a side-by-side -side fridge. And now I have this type of fridge and I'm gonna show you how I've organized that. I wanted to show you the freezer when it's empty and what it looks like. So mine is this style where it's like a chest freezer and it has a drawer like this. And you can already see that I've already labeled, but I'll show you the all the organization in a little bit. And then it has this thing that moves this much because it has those um, stoppers there. And it has a basket here that I just washed. So I'm gonna put that in. Okay, here's the basket. And I do like that everything is slotted. Okay, and so it fits in there. And so the great thing is that you can take it out and wash it. All right, so this is what it looks like from this part and also over here. And you can kind of see the depth of the drawer. So when you're looking at your freezer, whether it's a side-by-side -side or something like this, you have to look at the depth and the, you know, the, the overall size, something like this things are going to get lost because that's just too big of a space. Even if you have Costco stuff, you'd have to have, what, four of them, five of them to fit this space. But a lot of times you don't have all those big Costco bags. You might have smaller bags, medium bags, large bags. So they're gonna get all jumbled up in there. So you need to section off this these areas. If you're going to get a container, you need to get something as tall as that or something that stacks. And if you get something that stacks, just know that the thing at the bottom is gonna be harder to get to so that you could put stuff there that you keep longer in the freezer. And the ones on top are the ones maybe that you're gonna be using this week or the next week. So I decided to use this container that is actually from the container store. I'll link it below. And everything else that I use in this freezer organization. The other type of container that I have is actually from Target. Let me show you that. Okay, this is the container from Target. It's the longer, shorter one or kind of medium height. I uh, use the shorter, wider one in my side by side freezer. And I'll put a link to that video, um, maybe a couple versions, so you can see different types of organization that I've done for my previous freezer and then the third container is this one it's the skinny version of that bigger one also from the container store okay so you see that two of these fit perfectly here and two on the other side okay that's the third one and the fourth one i promise it fits i mean this was great because i already had the containers and they fit perfectly look at that and I know that I knew that I had a skinny one and I just went and had gotten it and and uh, look, look how perfect. I love it when it does that, don't you? I think I had one of these and then I put it in and it fit. And so I went back to the container store and got the second one. OK, so that's what it looks like. And see, you're setting yourself up for success. OK, so for the drawer part, the same idea. If you have just one big space like this, things are gonna just fall into each other. And you also don't want it to just be like stacked on top because then it, you'd have to lift up everything to see what's underneath there. So sectioning each part off as uh, for whatever categories you need is going to um, be a better uh, setup for you. And luckily these from uh, Target fit in here and you can see that this is all the way back there and there's a little bit of space here. So if you need, let's say like waffles or um, ice cream bars or things like that, you can still fit them into those spots here or like burritos or taquitos, anything that um, is in a smaller bag, you can fit there and use uh, a lot more of the space. Okay, here's the second one, the third and the fourth and so in a perfect world a fifth one would have been great to fit in here but it's just a little bit too narrow so that's fine because that's where my ice cream goes i've put everything back into my freezer and i'm going to show you how i've organized it so the first thing let's look up here what i've done is i've relabeled this drawer and 
that's because it was looking a little bit jumbled the way I had it before, but it's mainly the same um, categories, fruit, veggies, fries, Filipino, ice cream. All right, let's start here with the fruit. I just love the resealable bags, especially for fruit because they're easy to wash. Let me pull this out and show you what it looks like with the blueberries. So I put these um, on its side because it's not going to fit the whole depth of this basket, but it still fits the height of the freezer drawer. All right, for frozen veggies, I always have a green peas. And then here I just have some cauliflower. And then for the fries category, I could have put potatoes, but it's almost always fries. Sweet potato fries, tater tots, um, cut fries like that. So let me show you here. So example, I have some peas here. And you can see like it would fit there if I needed more space in this basket. Here for Filipino, I have... Uh, I make spring rolls uh, fresh from home. And then I also have calamansi, which is like our lemon. And these are pandan leaves. And then with ice cream, I decided to change the category to ice cream versus dessert because most of the time it really is ice cream. And so we like to have the talenti. And then I just have a pack of ice here. I have these reusable ice packs, which you can cut into different sizes. So I have two of these. And so imagine this being in my freezer and I, I'm not using it. I mean, I don't need an ice pack to cool down my freezer, right? And so what I do is I just keep this in my Coleman cooler. And then when it's time to use it, a couple days beforehand, I will find a space in my freezer, example, this space here and so that it could freeze up and be ready to go. All right, and I just absolutely love that there's a drawer in my freezer. It, it really makes it easier to see what you have and to create more space. Okay, my labels for here are upside down, but when I'm standing above the freezer, this is how I see it. Wrappers, pastries, breakfast. Here are some sauces that I get from the dumplings that come in the, the Costco bag. And I get these pastries from Trader Joe's. These are just enough for us to have different uh, types like the cheese blitzes, the apple blossoms, the pastry rolls, chocolate croissants, and the almond croissants. These are my favorite. All right, let's go to the meat, seafood, Asian, and ready to eat. Here what I do is I just use the food saver or you can use a non-brand one and I take the air out because it will stay longer. You put the label and the date. Some Filipino beef tapa. I got hot dogs there, Italian sausage, chicken thighs. Then we have some ground beef here. Next, the seafood. So I have some tilapia back there, salmon steak, pink wild shrimp, and uh, some salmon there. And then I have golden pampano, bungus. This is um, marinated, it's like a white fish bibimbap. We try to make these uh, scallion pancakes on our own and trust me it takes a lot of work and so we just decided to figure out which ones we like at trader joe's and the asian store so we have this one for this week a few more like that a few more samosas and then rice cake here are some dim sum you also want to put the labeling or the front of the package facing the same direction as much as possible so it's just easier for you like when i look at here i see this i see that I see that. Okay, these are my ready to eat. Gnocchi, this is from Costco. I got one left. And we got some I think burritos here, cheese balls. And then this is from Costco. So you see how big this thing is? Okay, you gotta plan that out. Let's go to these skinny baskets, okay? And so one thing I always have also are wrappers. This is empanada, dumpling wrappers, spring roll wrappers. So even having four of these, you can see that it fits in that skinny container. Breakfast. Every so often, we will get the frozen waffles. Hash browns. I usually have one pack of breakfast sausage. My tip is take them out of the box as much as possible. You know that the box, it just takes up so much more space than even leaving it in its own packaging or doing your own packaging.
I hope you've enjoyed this video of my freezer organization. Let me know in the comments below what you always have in your freezer and how you organize it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.